I'm going to make an appetizer that I think might be a really good one bite snack. I'm gonna call it taco cups. We're gonna use phyllo dough. And I thought I was buying cups already made, but no, they're just sheets. So I have to make the cups myself. So this will be interesting. I'm gonna try to do it. I have a muffin tin back here, a couple here. And I'm going to fashion cups. Let's see what happens. I have some hamburger here, 80-20. I'm just going to follow taco mix directions. I'm also going to add some onion and some diced jalapenos for some spice. So that will be the filling. I'll also add some cheese to that because tacos have cheese. So we'll put cheese in there. So we're going to use that as the filling for the taco shells. Here we go. I'm a little nervous. I've not ever worked with phyllo before. It seems complicated, but here we go. I'm just gonna put these in the sink because we've gotta spray it with Pam eventually. So according to the directions, that I found, <clears throat> we need to have a cookie sheet and some wax paper, but I don't have wax paper, I have parchment. So I'm just gonna use parchment paper, I hope it works. And then you're supposed to get a damp towel. So I have a clean towel there that I'm gonna use. So I'm going to take out the phyllo dough out of here. Okay, and we're going to unwrap it. I understand that it dries out really quickly. So we have to work very quickly here. As a matter of fact, I think I better wet that towel right quick. Sorry, I just got my Atlanta on there just a bit. So let's put that over there. I'm gonna wet this. And I'm assuming it shouldn't be sopping wet, just maybe damp. So I just wrung it out a bit there. Okay, so the towel is ready and the parchment is ready. So let's, let's open this up. Okay. Here we go. Wow, it's super delicate. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, have you ever worked with phyllo before? Oh my goodness. That feels really nice. <laughs> it's really soft. Look how thin it is. Oh my goodness, okay. So that's why it dries out super quick. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that on there. And then you put you put the paper over it so it doesn't get wet. So there's the paper. Now we're gonna put the towel on it. Okay, hopefully that will not dry out. I'm gonna stick this back in the freezer, I guess, because I don't think I'm gonna need all of it. Okay, now, let me just do a quick wash. All right, what is the direction said to do, when you're ready, you get some melted butter, which I have right here, a quarter cup of melted butter, and then we're going to take one sheet of the phyllo, and we're going to brush it with butter I have my pastry brush here. And then we're gonna do that with five sheets. Once we have five sheets layered and buttered, then we're gonna cut it to fit 
the muffin tin. So maybe I ought to go ahead and spray this muffin tin right now. I do not like the misty, oily stuff from this, so I spray in my sink. So there's number one. Let's see, I think I'll just put it right there. We'll do number two. Done with the oil. Well, it's not oil, it's Pam, but it's greasy. As you know, I don't like grease. I really don't like greasy food. Okay, now those muffin tins are ready. So we're gonna get started on the phyllo. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna take one sheet. Oh, wow, it's very, oops, that's two sheets. Oh my goodness. Oh wait, no, that was one sheet. Okay, so there's one sheet, cover this back up. And now we're going to quickly butter it. Okay. Quickly butter it. Oh my goodness. It's very, very delicate. Oh my goodness, I ripped it. Shoot. All right, well, I'm sure I'm gonna be doing more ripping because I have never done this before. I, I don't, oops. I don't think that you wanna have a whole lot of butter on there. Maybe just, I think I put, um, a swath of butter on that first part. I think that's probably gonna be too much. All right, live and learn. Let's grab another sheet. So sheet one is on there. Here's another sheet. Oh, is that? It feels like there's multiple sheets there, but that must be kind of a corn starch on there or something. Okay, so we have sheet two on here now, and it is crooked. There we go. That lifted pretty pretty well. I was afraid it was going to kind of stick to my cut my cutting board. Okay, so I'm going to kind of. I think I'm going to figure out how to do this because when you dip the brush in the butter wherever you put it down there's just a big old splat of butter on there so I think oops oh I do not have a delicate hand with this so I think you just have to really go lightly otherwise you'll have just a big old clump of butter on there I don't think you want a big clump of butter. I don't know, I hope I'm doing this right. Okay, that was sheet two. Now we're gonna put on sheet three. There's sheet three. Oh, my butter is kind of getting cooled a little bit, I think. I think I might need to nuke my butter some more. It's not all that melty at the moment. Because you know I was kind of prepping everything and in the meantime, that butter has cooled. So I may need to nuke that butter. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe it's okay, actually. All right, so that was three. I think I will go ahead and nuke this really quick. It only takes a couple seconds for that to really melt. There we go, that's probably better. Okay, let's get sheet, let me see, we did three. Now we're gonna put on number four. Sheet four. 
Okay. Sheet four. See that big old clump of butter? I don't think that's good. Okay. Just kind of go lightly, I guess. Like I say, I've never done this before, so I got to test it out on my family first before I make this for my mahjong friends. But I think this is going to be a really nice one bite appetizer or snack, I guess. All right, now sheet five. I'm going to have a lot left over, I think. Okay, now, now we're supposed to cut it to fit in the muffin tin. Oh, I forgot to say, I, I preheated the oven to 375 because we need to bake it for... 10 minutes, let me go check. We need to bake it for 10 minutes. Here's my muffin tin. So I'm gonna just cut that part right there because I wanna cut it to fit. Okay. There we go. All right, now, I think right about here, 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 and then right about there, and right about there, maybe. Okay, so here we go. I think I better pull it in a little bit. Okay. This cutting board has some, I guess, like a moat around it. Okay, these are not even. All right. It'll be fine. Okay, now you take each square Okay, and you tuck it into the muffin tin. Let's move that out of the way here. Just like that. We're gonna tuck. This part's easy. We're going to repeat this for the next one. I'll just set that on the stove and we'll do it again. Okay. Uh oh. It's a bit heavy there. Okay, now I'm going to lay this on here, even though I ripped it. We're going to put that on there just like that, and we're going to, oh boy, that butter got thick again. I think I need to nuke it again. Okay, so I put a little bit more butter in there and nuked it again. Okay, here we go. Hopefully that didn't get too dried off. I feel a bit like an artist. All right, there's one. We're gonna go in for number two now. Ooh. Kinda sticks together a little bit with that butter, but I don't think it needs to be perfect. Uh-oh. Oh, 
Oh boy. I think I made a little bit of a mess on this one. Okay. It's going to get kind of squinched as a cup anyway, so I think it will be just fine. Oh, oh. Oh my goodness, you have to really have a light hand at this. It's very delicate. I wonder if a spray bottle with this would be better than a brush. You know, put melted butter in a spray bottle and just spray it on there. Is that such a thing? I don't know. I should look that up. I'll Google it. Okay, so that was two. Now we're going to do number three. Oops. That towel kind of makes it heavy and you will tear this. All right. Boy, you know, cooking is definitely an art form. I think when you work with stuff like this and I am new to this so I am probably gonna make some people laugh because I don't know what I'm doing but that's okay I don't mind if people laugh at my expense I'm okay with that okay, there's number three we're going in for number four Oh, oh, ripped it a little bit again, but a little tear I think is okay. So here's number four. All right, number five. Okay, now we will cut. So I will use this as a guide. Just seems kind of like a waste. There's two whole parts there that we're not going to use. I don't know what to do with them. Uh oh, that's going to be kind of little. Okay, I think that's probably pretty good. I think we need to move it a little bit here though. I think I need to get a sharper pizza cutter. This is pretty old. It's probably fairly dull. Okay, I think we're all right. Now, we're going to do more tucking here. Boy, it just seems thinner. Did I put enough sheets on there? This one seems thinner. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, four. I think I skipped a sheet. Does that matter? Okay, I have an idea. I am going to cut this one and layer it because I think I skipped, I think I skipped a sheet. There's one and this way too. I can use this leftover stuff no waste. Three, four, look. Here we go. Actually, it might even be too thick because I'm just going to slap it on there. That's all right. I think it will be just fine. Okay. All right, now let's just 
just kind of peel it apart a little bit. Once it cooks, no one will know. It's our secret. Nobody has to know that I made a mistake. We're gonna make it work. Now they have five sheets. Some might even have more because they're so thin, I can't really tell. But they're buttered and I think it will be fine. Okay, I just need one more. This one's really thin too. Oh, that's all right, I'll just, oops, gosh. I'm just gonna put that one on there. All right, I think we've recovered now, it feels about the same. So here we go, we're gonna tuck them in there now. Just wanna kinda of press them in there to make a little cup. So we're gonna put it in the 375 degree oven for 10 minutes. So now I'm going to make tacos. Just make taco meat, however you do it. If you do it with a package, do it with a package. If you make it from scratch, do it from scratch. So I'm gonna get to cooking, and then when the taco meat is ready with the onions, these jalapenos, and this ground beef, I will come back and we'll fill those cups. And then we'll put a little bit of cheese, on there and cook them up. Here we go. I decided that these onions were not diced up enough. So I'm just gonna dice these a little bit more. Since the cups are tiny, I want these chunks to be tiny. So we're gonna mince this. I don't know, is this minced or chopped? I'm not a chef, I'm just a cook. So maybe it's finely diced. I have no idea. I'm just gonna make them really tiny pieces. How's that? Just little tiny pieces of onion. Cause you don't wanna bite into one of those cups with a big old hunk of onion. I don't think that would be pleasant. So we, I wanna make these tiny. So however you achieve that, you know, I, I got this food processor back there and I keep forgetting that I have it. I have, I don't think I've used it yet because I, I keep, I'm so used to just doing all my chopping myself. I could have put this onion it's really about a half an onion. I could have stuck it in there and had it all chopped up in no time. But I keep forgetting about it. Okay, I think that's probably good. My eyes have just about started to water. So I think that's a good time to stop. So I am gonna stick those in there in a nick of time, because my eyes are just getting ready to water. So, these are ready now for that hamburger meat. But I do not like putting veggies with raw meat. So I'm gonna cook the ground beef completely and then drain it, and then I add the onions into that pan and just cook them separately, and then I add them all together. The meat is just about ready to be drained. I have to be very careful because we're on septic. I can't have any grease down this sink. So I have a little can in here. So I pour the grease into the can with a strainer, of course. And slowly but surely, it comes away from the meat. And then I can kind 
kind of scoop it in there so all that grease <gasps> I always lose meat in the sink but that's okay a little bit is okay because so I'll scoop that out and throw it away we do not have a garbage disposal okay now there's a little bit of grease in the pan that's when I cook the onion but with a different spoon Okay, the onion is in there and this meat is draining further. So I'm going to cook this onion a bit and then I'll dump in the jalapeno. <gasps> the filo's ready. I, I need to modify this cooking time though because we need to fill it and cook it more. I think it's going to be a little overdone. I mean, they look perfect at the moment, but we got to put the meat in here and cook it more, like five more minutes. So I think next time I'm going to cook it maybe for eight minutes, seven minutes. We'll see. So here's the consistency. I don't want it to be too wet. We'll look that simmer for five minutes. So once that has simmered for five minutes, I'm going to transfer it to a bowl and add half of the cheese. Then we'll fill the tarts or the little cups. We'll bake the cups, pull it out, put a little more cheese on top, and then we'll bake it again for a couple more minutes and they'll be done. I think it's a pretty easy recipe, except for working with the phyllo. But it's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. I was a little bit intimidated by it. So we'll just wait for this to simmer now. Four more minutes. Stirring occasionally. Okay, we're ready to add cheese. I was just thinking, why am I going to dirty a bowl? I don't need to. We're just going to put it in the pan. So I'm just going to put, this is probably about a cup or so of cheese. So I'm just going to put maybe half of it in here and mix it in. Those jalapenos. <coughs> are making me cough. Oh my goodness. Okay, now... Not too bad. See, these I think got a little dark. But I think they're going to be okay. Now I'm going to take a cookie scoop and I'm just going to scoop the mixture into each muffin. Well, it's not a muffin. Each phyllo cup. This is going to take a couple of minutes, so I'm going to speed this up. Okay, one down. 
They look pretty yummy to me. Now we'll do this one. Some of these are bigger than others. So some get a bigger scoop. Some get a little scoop. Some of the phyllo kind of curled in on itself a little. So for those, I'm putting in less filling. Oh, I forgot one. Oh my goodness. All right, there we go. Yummy. I'm hungry. These look really good. Smells like tacos. I think I'm supposed to turn the oven down. It's probably going to take a while, but I'm just going to stick them in there. So I'm going to cook those for five minutes and then we'll bring them out, put in a little more cheese on top just so they look cheesy. And then I'll put them in for another minute or two and then we'll plate it and taste. I know it's going to be tasty. I mean, if you like tacos. If you don't like tacos, this probably won't be a good recipe for you, but I think they'll be tasty. We just have to wait for five more minutes. Well, four minutes, four minutes. I guess I'll clean this up a little bit and then when it's ready to come out, we'll put on some more cheese. Almost ready. I'm just going to get them out. Now, I'm just going to put a little bit of cheese on each one, almost like a garnish, I think. Hot! I think it's just to make, to make it look a pretty because there's a little bit of cheese already in there. So you don't need to stack it on there. Just a few little pieces here and there. Okay, that's plenty. Back in the oven. Oh, that's not hot. Well, it is a little bit. Okay. Just long enough to melt that cheese. The little taco cups are ready to come out of the oven. Does that look yummy? I sure think so. We could probably scoop them out with a spoon. If memory serves me correctly, I did puff pastry in here and a spoon was the best way to get them out. Let's find out. Yep.
They're very cute. Look, isn't that cute? It's not going to be a one bite though. It's going to be a couple bites, I think. But I think they're nice. I want to try to get three in a row, I think. That phyllo is pretty delicate. The corners are kind of breaking off a little bit, so. You gotta be careful. You know what I think would have been pretty on here is some cilantro just for garnish but I don't have any cilantro, so we're not gonna do that. But I think for serving for an event, a little bit of cilantro on top would have been a really nice garnish. Let's have a little taste. Here's a little one. Kind of cute and I didn't burn it I was afraid that they were going to be overcooked all right let's have a little taste I think they're going to be a bit crumbly and I forgot napkins again they're a little bit greasy probably because of the cheese and the ground beef here we go Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that is good. Mmm. I love phyllo. It's kind of like a really light taco shell. Super light and crispy. And of course, if you like taco meat, I mean, everybody knows what taco meat tastes like, right? pretty much. So I suppose you could probably fill it with any kind of a themed filling. You know, you could probably do a taco. You could probably put chicken and cream cheese or maybe uh, shredded pork. You could put any kind of savory filling in here. This one's just taco and it tastes like a taco in a really crispy shell. It's really good. It's greasy though. But I think it's worth it. It's really yummy. Mm-hmm. You'll definitely need napkins. You know what else might be really good on here is a little tiny dollop of sour cream. I think I could serve sour cream on the side and people could put a little dollop of sour cream on there. That might be kind of nice too. This is a winner. Very good. Give it a try yourself and let me know what you think about it. I think I'm going to be doing a lot more recipes with phyllo. I like it. Very tasty. Between now and the next episode of Mahjong Nash and Such, may all your picks be keepers. Mmm. Tasty.